task, you have a lot of advantages. Uh, and so I'm going to first, um, I assume that you came to the class because you want to write fast. You probably don't need to tell you reasons why you should, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, first reason is, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Carnegie Hall? Practice. And so the more you practice uh, and the faster you practice, the better you're going to be at writing. Uh, the second million words that you write are going to be going to come a lot faster and a lot better than the first million words uh, that you write. Uh, and so it's just like any other skill, the more you do it, the better you'll be. And if you can write 10,000 words in a week, you'll get better twice as fast as if you're writing 5,000 words a week and 10 times as fast if you're only getting out a thousand words a week. Uh, the second uh, reason is inertia. Uh, and inertia in popular usage implies something that isn't moving, it's something that requires a lot of force to get going. But inertia cuts both ways. Things that are moving stay in motion. You know, that's the actual law. Things that aren't moving require a lot of energy to get going. So stories in motion stay in motion. Uh, you will very rarely get writer's block if you are writing on a project every week not letting your thoughts and your ideas get get cold. Where it will kill you is something will come up and you won't look at your project for two weeks. And then you know you kind of lost the train of thought. You know, third week passes, fourth week passes, and you know, six months later you haven't written anything. Uh, and so inertia can be your friend if you maintain momentum, or it can be the biggest killer your creativity if you allow your running to stop.